In tonight's Health Watch, new help for people with chronic sinusitis. It comes in the form of little plastic devices that dissolve and release medicine to treat symptoms, making breathing easier. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here to tell us exactly how it all works. That's right. You know that sinusitis sometimes starts with an infection, sometimes it's allergies, or maybe it's just unfortunate nasal anatomy. All can lead to sinus trouble and a nasty cycle of antibiotics, antihistamines, steroids, and eventually surgery. There's a simpler way. I lost my smile. Smell. My smell, yes. Moises Consuegra is one of an estimated 30 million people who suffer from chronic sinusitis, and they are miserable. It's a big problem because the breathing, when I wake up because the nose was close. Here's how Moises and his fellow sufferers got that way. The sinuses are air-filled spaces in the bones of the face that produce mucus. If tiny drainage holes get clogged because of allergies or infections, the sinuses fill up, causing inflammation, pressure, and the classic symptoms of sinusitis. In many cases, the chronic inflammation leads to polyps, which further block the airways. When medication stops working... Some of those patients that require surgery, surgery involves fixing the anatomy, basically fixing the plumbing. We want to make everything drain well. To improve the results, there's now a little spring-like device called Propel that Dr. Efrat inserts during surgery that not only holds the nasal passages open during healing, but also slowly dissolves, releasing low doses of steroids over two or three months. It has a steroid in it, a local steroid called Mometazone, and it prevents scarring and reduces inflammation and actually can help prevent polyp regrowth. But there are patients like Moises who still have their polyps grow back. For those patients, there's a variation of the Propel device called Sinuva. It's a small plastic umbrella that's inserted in the office with local anesthesia. It too releases steroids to gradually shrink polyps. Two or three months later, the Sinuva implant is removed in the office and patients like Moises can breathe again. From the land to the, to the heaven. <laughs> Now, these devices are not for everyone with chronic sinus problems. Medications are still the first-line treatment. The Propel device is for patients with polyps who get surgery, and the Sinuva is for people who've already had that surgery and whose polyps have grown back, and we all know what that sinusitis is like. Oh. So if you can make it simpler, it's a good thing. Anything. Seriously. Exactly. Thanks, Doc. Thank you, you Dr. Max.